In this video, I tried to, uh, or I did disassemble and clean this American Manufacturing, yeah, American Firearms and Manufacturing Company Incorporated 25 automatic. Uh, when I went to the range, I had trouble with it, wasn't cleaned. This gun is unusual, was not produced uh, for long, and disassembling it was really uh, difficult, as you'll see in the video. But there's not a lot of information on how to do this, and it is a little bit different than your standard uh, Jennings or whatever, um, Jennings Braco type of firearm. But watch the video, I did the best I can, and if you have questions or if you have a gun like this and are having problems, uh, you know, feel free to email me and I'll try to uh, advise you as best I can. Uh, and the video might not be the best, but yeah, I took a shot at it. Okay, in disassembling the American Firearms Manufacturing Company, a little 25 auto. Uh, it's a high quality gun, but it is a little bit difficult uh, in disassembly because it's different. First, we will check the weapon is clear. I had problems with this functioning, so now I am going to have to take it apart and check the gun. So, there's not a lot of information on this gun. It was only made for a few years, and they stopped making them in '74. So you really can't find anything on the internet, uh, information-wise. But I did stumble across a forum where an individual had one of these blue, and he had the same problem. He had some mechanical problems he was trying to fix. And also, like I said, I believe the problem with this gun is kind of older ammunition and the fact it hasn't been cleaned properly. Uh, <clears throat> so... In all the discussions on how to do this, these guns all basically go along a similar line of functioning. Now everyone says to get this gun apart, you have to go like the Braco Jennings firearms, where in the back of the slide, there is a little spring-loaded uh, block or plug that you would depress. You would depress that here in the center, push in, pull back on the slide, and that unhooks from an area in the frame, and then you lift the slide up and off. That is how this works, but what is different is that plug is split and goes across something. I'll try to depress it here, because this, with my hand, it's very difficult for me to do this. You'd either have to get a thin screwdriver blade or something and go alongside and depress. See, now it's getting, I don't know if you can see it, it's depressing in like this. Or with this machinist punch, depress it here like that. And then, keeping pressure on it, you would have to pull the slide back and lift up. I can't do it on the table, so what I'm going to have to do is go to a vise put this in a vise, try to depress that, and then ease this off. Okay, you need three hands. The guy did mention that he had to go with a friend, and it took two people to get this gun disassembled. So let's go get it in a padded vise and see if I can get the slide off without losing all the damn parts. Okay, so here we go. Let's try it. So... We go again along the side, either screwdriver blade or something, and depress this piece in. Then we draw back on the slide. Yep, it's like I thought. Shit goes flying everywhere. And this has a strange way of it only pivots off or comes up like that. Okay. And if you look, we'll take a look at that, and we'll look at the parts once I find the other one that flew out, and we'll t go back to the table and look at it. But that's, that's how it comes apart, a little bit on the difficult side. Okay, now that we're back after what turned into a two-hour search of the garage floor to 
find a piece that went zipping out of the back of the uh, slide, which is this here. Like I said, uh, I don't know if I should zoom in on this. This is the piece here. It locks, if you see, zoom in a little bit to help you get a clearer view. Hopefully it's not focusing. Maybe time for you to get a new camera. But as you see the difference between the Brakos and that, is this is a part of the frame. Okay. And this piece here, which in the rear of the slide, just goes into the uh, just goes into the spring here, which holds it, much like the Braco Jennings. With this thing here, then again, uh, let me get something here. Okay, I got it. This little piece here locks in like this into this part. I can't show you, but I think you get the idea. Uh, it locks into that. And that's what holds the slide, firing pin, and all the other fun stuff up in here. So what I want to do is take out the firing pin. Or that's the firing pin spring. There's the firing pin there. And it's basically a simple little tube goes on the end of the spring and it catches this uh, sear mechanism here which is activated like that by the trigger. So you just pull it back, it catches on that, you pull the trigger, down it goes. The safety comes up and just locks this piece from moving inside there. No, I don't want to reset. So, so we might as well get a lesson while we the whole thing flew apart. Here's your trigger bar. Goes up into this little piece here, which I don't have in there because this piece has a spring underneath that goes in and engages in that hole, and that is what your trigger drops this down here because this goes in up in here like this. I know I can't show you but uh, it will go in there like that and then when you depress your trigger it pulls the, down the sear and the spring is inside a hollow it's like a little tube inside there. And I think the grip holds it all together once the slide's off. So be aware that if you work on this thing, stuff's going to go flying all over the damn place. Little springs, everything. Now all our springs have flown out. Let's take a look. That's what it kind of looks like internally. And then your safety when you come down blocks that mechanism from moving. And I believe my problem is it's just filthy down here in the uh, chamber and area. And this is all machined. It appears to be machined out of one solid piece of stainless steel. The whole pistol. Kind of unusual. Okay. That, that looks like all one piece machined out. And then these things, you know, milled out and put in there which it's pretty wild. Uh, maybe I'll take off the other grip screw and we'll look at everything all together if nothing else flies out. Yeah, I'm correct. It's a sound well. I believe it's a solid hunk, solid block of stainless steel made the frame on this gun. It's pretty unusual, pretty unique. I've never seen nothing like it. Your barrel's an integral part. If that or they they either soldered or welded this on and then 
uh, did a good job of polishing it. There's your barrel, and underneath you have your recoil spring, which is a double spring, spring within a spring here. And this thing, it basically looks like a friggin' nail. There is a hole in there, and it might have been something that holds all this together, some sort of pin or something. I have to look that up, I just noticed that. So I had a hell of a time getting this thing back together. I may have to locate some sort of a little capture pin, or modify something to put in there. But that goes in the head, goes into a recess machined in there, just like that for your recoil spring, dual spring. And like I said, it's a one-piece construction, machined out. I believe it's cast stainless. It looks like a casting. Pretty interesting gun, but be warned. You start fooling with this, stuff goes flying everywhere. And like I said, this capture pin back here, maybe I can show you now, goes into that. Man, it's tough to get in there. Goes in there like that. Okay, split. And what you got to do is get around that on the sides and push that in to unlock it. And then the slide will come up. But then that thing goes sailing off into the distance. So that's about it. I'm not going to get into. Because the way the camera angle is, you can't see when I work on it. But I'm going to get this all back together. I'm going to clean the hell out of it. And then get this piece back together again. And I'll show you how to put, uh, or attempt to show you how I try to put the slide back on. And I may look around and see if I can find some sort of little capture pin for that uh, recoil spring. Okay, and I thought I would mention, yeah, I've looked down the barrel, and it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, you know, full of crud and stuff, because there's no hold open on this, there's no way to clean this without disassembling it. And also, the underside of the slide is pretty black and grungy, and there is buildup on the face of the, the slide. Uh, so this needs to be thoroughly cleaned, lubricated, and, and put back together. That probably was the problem I had with it. Uh, plus the ammunition was rather old that I was using. But um, So now I'm going to go clean it and attempt to reassemble it in the next few hours. Hopefully I won't lose things anymore and try to get it back together. But when I get the grips and all that stuff on, then you shouldn't full width. I'll show you how I'm going to try to get the slide and all that back together again. Okay, since I kind of got it together and it's stable, I'll give you a quick shot of how that all that little trigger mechanism goes in. And there's the sear, spring-loaded. It engages in that first hole, pivots on the last, and that's where it gets the trigger bar in that. So I thought I'd show you that while I got it stable. Okay, and like I said, the safety comes down and blocks that and doesn't allow you to pull the trigger. So, let me get her back together. Okay, here's where things are going to get really strange. I believe the only thing that is for is to help you reassemble that. You can't put a pin in there because the little hole in the front where that guide rod goes for the recoil spring just about extracts her. So putting a pin in isn't going to help or do anything. So what we're going to do is take our firing pin and spring, place it in the slide, like that. Then this little gizmo goes in there. like that. And then I'm going to try, and you got to bear it's difficult for me, because this, this is cumbersome. When I had it apart the one time, 
kind of by accident, trying to get this recoil spring in, in there in the interface. Because if you see where that round part of the uh, underneath the barrel here, well, I guess this is where this pivots. It's a point for this thing here to pivot, the slide to pivot somehow, so this is tricky. That's why this gun was never taken apart and cleaned, and I can, I can understand why. So I'm going to leave that there, and what I'm going to do is try to get this slide up in there, then try to, once the slide's on, try to push this. It's going to be, it, it's difficult. It's not easy. I have to find my other tool here. And you might not see it because my hands are going to be there. There's no way for me to good, get a good camera angle. But the idea is get the slide up in here and catch this spring. And I'm going to yank this out and leave the spring there. And i got to pivot down, depress this thing, and then snap it down so it locks. So this is going to be a joy. Okay, here we go. And, of course, this company's been out of business forever. There's no way to get a manual or contact somebody who can help you with this or give you the correct instructions on how to do all this fun crap. All right. See, I, it's like I got to come in there somehow. All right. Oof. This thing out. Alright. Okay. Alright, that's we're going now. We're we're getting there. Now I gotta rotate this stupid thing. Without really pinching most of my fingers. Yeah, this thing's rotated on me. I'm trying to turn it with the scribe. There it is, but it ain't right. I'm going to have to pull this back. Ah, there we go. I think that may have it. No, I rotated it the wrong way. Oh well. Alright, what I'm gonna do is go in and I gotta turn the whole thing 180 inside there. Okay, after a bunch of fumbling, swearing, and cursing, I had to go in there with this scribe. I had to pull the slide back like about that far, put a screwdriver in there to hold it open. And I had to reach in there with this and then rotate it around until I got it to lock in place correctly. Because I had it upside down, which... Uh, so there we go. And yes, this gun was in terrible shape. Never been taken apart and cleaned. So that's it. That's, I know the video is not the best. But this is a kind of unusual and seldom seen gun. I don't know how common they are. I've only seen one person on a forum discuss this pistol. And he had one hell of a time trying to figure out how to take it apart. So if you do run across one of these or have one, I hope this helps you out. Uh, like I said, be prepared for stuff to go zinging and flying everywhere. Uh, but that's how we got it done, got it cleaned, and hopefully I'll be out in the rain chair this week and I will give it another go. And probably I'd, I'd like to see this gun function a lot better because this is a nice quality piece. Uh, it is. High quality gun. And very unusual, one piece of stainless, one piece of cast stainless steel is what that frame and barrel is. It's, it's pretty wild.